Hamas has released two elderly Israeli women from captivity and says it will release two more hostages soon. Narit Cooper and Yochved Livhiz will be freed on what Hamas calls humanitarian grounds. Another 220 people are being held hostage as the US pushes Israel to delay its ground invasion into Gaza to buy more time for negotiations. Joining me now live is Sky News US contributor Michael Ware. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. So so what's the tactic here by Hamas? We've seen four hostages released now. Is there a strategy? There, there clearly is. And, and this is the entire purpose of having the hostages. Not only are they just a human shield, but they're a way of drip feeding hostages out for Hamas's own perceived strategic benefit. We had a couple of Americans three days ago, and now we're seeing these pictures of these elderly Israeli women, grandmothers, 179, 185, being released through the Rafah border crossing into Egypt. And the Red Cross helped facilitate that. The Israeli Defence Forces now confirmed it, and we believe that it was negotiated by the Qatari government. This just illustrates the dark value, if I can call it that, of these 200 odd hostages. And, you know, it just shows us some of the many ways Hamas may attempt to manipulate their possession of these poor innocent people. Michael, we've been hearing for the last week and a half how Israel is readying itself. It's, it's got the troops ready to launch a ground invasion. As of now, of course, it hasn't. Why do you think Israel is delaying pulling the trigger and, and launching this full-scale ground invasion? Yeah, well, we've just seen the Defence Minister going around and talking, visiting with the, the Israeli Navy and talking about how the military is preparing for an air, sea and ground offensive. But it still hasn't happened. Now... There's a few reasons for that. Some, some we can only speculate on. Obviously, one of the reasons is the fate of these hostages. The Americans, we now know, are urging the Israelis to delay the ground invasion, to give more time for negotiations for the hostages' release. And... Also, you can't forget that, that there's only a certain window of Western support for Israel to go in, and that window is rapidly closing. I mean, it, it, it's, almost, it, it, it's, it's almost a crime that after the horrors of October 7 and everything that Hamas did on that day, it's Hamas who's now winning the information war because of all the horrific pictures we're seeing of these poor Palestinian people and the destruction inside Gaza by the Israeli Air Force. I mean, the pictures almost look like you know, images from towns in World War II, such as being the devastation. So that window is closing. It's, it's almost as if the Israelis have to go in soon or don't go in at all. And the Americans are the ones who I believe are trying to hold the reins back on the ground invasion. And Israel knows that its moment to attack is winding down. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, we've been talking about this now for at least the last week and a half. I want to ask you about a statement released by Barack Obama only in the last few hours in, in response to this conflict. He said, and I quote, uh, even as we support Israel, we should also be clear that how Israel prosecutes this fight against Hamas matters. What do you make of this statement, Michael? Well, it perfectly reflects what we're talking about right now because you know israel has the world's sympathy but it's only going to go so far and it really depends on how israel prosecutes the rest of this war and former president obama's statement in some ways echoes 
current President Biden's nationally televised address, where he said that, you know, we are behind Israel all the way. But Israel is a Jewish state that is a democracy. And democracies follow the rule of law and the rules of war. Because you just got to know that if you go in on the ground, it is going to be ugly. It's, it's not like Fallujah that we fought in Iraq in 2004. We were able to give the civilians a date by which they had to evacuate. And after that point, anyone in that city was a target. It was a complete free fire zone. Here, you have 2.3 million innocent Palestinians trapped in this very confined battle space. And Hamas knows that. The, not every Palestinian is a member of Hamas. Not every Palestinian supports Hamas. But Hamas currently has the whip hand. And President Obama, I guess, is trying to remind Israel that when we of the West go to war, every time we start to compromise our values for military success, every time that we start killing civilians, that's when our enemies begin to win.